Hello everyone and welcome to the GASP ALS 5.5 project update. So as you guys know, EPIC has released the 5.5 stable and with it, uh, Caleb Longmire and the guys at EPIC have released an update to the game animation sample. So the GASP ALS project was due for, uh, for an update. So I was planning to wait a little bit before doing the update because I wanted to integrate some more things. But a lot of you in the comments have gotten a bit impatient, so I decided to do the project update first and then I will bring the other features later on. So first of all, we're going to go into some of the features that were added uh, to the GASP 5.5 version. So the first thing is Crouch now is supported and has the turn in place and has all the animations necessary, which is super cool. And they also added a sprint, so now the character can sprint. So these are for the animation part. Now they also have um, added a state machine setup. So it's a setup that uses a lot less animations and it's set up with a state machine. And you can just enable it and disable it by clicking here. And in the characters, you can also see both the state machine and the motion matching setup working next to each other. So if you want to compare, the state machine is using less than 400 animations and the motion matching is over 800. So from what I'm seeing here, like the results of the state machine wise are really good for the amount of animations it's using. So it almost there's almost no difference and it looks really cool. So if some of you guys don't like motion matching or find it too hard, you have the state machine set up now that you can use. Um, another uh, feature that they added is it's now replicated. And I think that's it for uh, for the 5.5 uh, update. So now we're going to get into the GASP ALS updates. So the first thing, uh, of course, is that GASP ALS is now working with the overlay system that we had. So everything is working as before. All the states are working in Crouch as well. The items, all the stuff that we had before is now working in 5.5. I had some um, things to tweak. So basically, uh, GASP ALS was already set up for Crouch and Sprint. So for some of you that ported the project themselves, uh, it actually was working. But there were some issues, for example, when sprinting, the legs were acting a bit finicky. So I went into the, the um, curves and I updated that stuff so that it looks good. Um, of course, I also replicated the overlay states. So if you guys are using the overlay states in the gas PLS, you will see that, that they are actually replicated. So everything is working fine. Everything is replicated. There are some uh, issues. I don't know if they were already in the project or not, but as you can see here, like IK is not the best. Uh, I'm still trying to find some actual fixes for those things because in the previous project, they were just basically band-aid fixes, but I'm trying to have like a proper retargeting system for, for the IK and everything. So for, for you guys to know, I, I did not port the previous project to 5.5. I actually created the new GASP on 5.5 and then I ported everything that I did into it. And that way, um, the project is really has all the new little tweaks and things that they did on uh, GASP 5.5. So it has the thread safe setup and it has some, some additional fixes and things that they did. So I went ahead and ported everything that I did before to a new GASP project so that I don't miss on anything that they've already done. So I have some other updates coming. The first one is going to be finding proper uh, workflow for the uh, hand attachment. So for the object attachment, I want to find something really robust. Uh, right now, we're at, we're using a an additive layer to the weapon R, which basically uh, we're setting up the weapon R um, bone here with an additive layer, so that the items are properly set up. We can also use a socket instead of this and attach to a socket. Um, but I want to find a way to do this uh, properly. So. And I uh, also want to find a way to fix an issue where if we go into the 
like we pick up another character, we can see that when we attach things, they are not attached properly. And why this is happening? This is happening because the gun is actually attached to the UEFN mannequin. It's not attached to the uh, UE5 skeleton right now. So one way to do it would be to attach directly to the UE5 skeleton, but I want to find a better way to do this so that it's actually um, also robust and works for pretty much any case. I'm still uh, going to research those. Keep in mind, guys, that I'm working on this project only on the weekends. I'm very, very busy with work right now, but I'll try to get something good uh, to work here. And some other minor updates that I want to do. I wanted to do a um, IK, but the guys went and did it for us, so thank you, uh, Epic, and thank you, Caleb. Uh, I want to add dynamic um, traversal, so I want to be able to uh, basically traverse any um, obstacles without them being set as traversable. So uh, the guys at Epic already included um, ledge catches, so now if you jump from here you can actually catch it if you play the game correctly. Let me try again. We'll give it a little sprint. And no, that one is too far. Anyways, we can uh, we can try it from this one. If we go in the right direction again. Thank you. So now we can ledge grab. So they already did this. What I want to do is basically make the system dynamic so that we can actually climb on anything. Uh, there are some guys on Twitter and on YouTube that did that. I will just take some of those and I will uh, credit them and I will add it to the project because I feel like that's something that would be nice to have. And then, like I said, we'll add ragdolling and uh, we'll see where we go from there. I want to keep the project simple so that we don't like um, bloat it with a lot of stuff. Uh, I wanted to keep it mostly related to locomotion. So some of you guys have asked for some features like horse riding and things like that. I'm not planning to do that. those things in, in this project, but if you make a version of Gasp ALS that has those things, please feel free to share with the community. Someone will find that useful. But yeah, I want to keep this project really just uh, about locomotion so that it can be used by anyone and then people can develop on top of it. So that's it for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, more updates will be coming in the future and see you guys in the next videos.